In many ways, Ray Lewis is a reflection of the man who coached him for two seasons in Baltimore. Hall of Fame middle linebacker Mike Singletary. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, that's me. Singletary is a preacher's son who became the spiritual leader of the Chicago Bears Super Bowl defense. Get it! Hey, baby! Hey, baby! We're gonna be here all day! We're gonna be here all day, baby! I like this kind of party! Our relationship instantly was like a marriage. Instantly, you know? And, and just like with every marriage, every day won't be pretty. You know, when you're coaching someone like Ray Lewis, it's very easy to just say, well, you know, that's Ray Lewis. I'm not going to say anything. If they ever press them to make them come inside, I'm reading him so fast, i would knock the receiver out. I see him doing something. Okay, I'll just leave it alone. That's just the way he is. Um, no, I would go to Ray. And I said, Ray, that was not right. That was wrong. Or Ray, that's not leadership. Mike, Mike. Mike Singletary. There was a guy close to him. Close Tell to him. Ray, Ray, have confidence in the call. Quit giving the looks, all right? Get you his ass somewhat, Mike. You can do it. Let's go. Good job, man. Talk to me. Look at me. Look at me. You know what? One of the things I tell Coach Nolan, Coach Nolan, don't come down, don't send a message down here that don't sound positive. Uh -huh. When we give you a call out there, Ray, you got to look and say, that's going to work. Right. I'm with you. Okay? I'm with you. In the two years that I was around him, I have never heard once him turn around and look at me and have some kind of complaint. We we'll turn around and, and look and think, you know what, coach? You're right. Playing a lot of zone. Oh, of zone. you're right. Well, you know, most of the career, you're the zone. zone the whole time. Yeah. You're right. That's so I'm always good. dropping back playing zone. Good you're right. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'll, I'll do better. But he was like, uh, you know, I'm willing to do anything, you know? I'll meet you here at 6 o'clock in the morning. I said, Coach, I love you, but I don't know if I can be there at 6 o'clock in the morning. And the guys told me, a couple of young guys told me they came, and uh, Coach was sitting there waiting for him with his uniform on. <laughs> I remember when I got to Baltimore, I'm telling Ray, Ray, when that fullback come through that, I want you to take him out. Go hit it. You want me to go do it like that? Uh, yes. I want you to go just like you're running into the wall. You know, and he would crack up, and some of the other guys would crack up. Really? I said, really? I said, you know what? That's what Dick Buckers did. That's what Willie Lanier did. That's what Ray Nisky did. That's what Mike Curtis did. They went and knocked it out. If they got knocked out in the process, that's just part of it. But I'm talking about great linebackers, Ray. Now, if you don't want to be great now, talk to me. The position of, of linebacker is very special to me. The uh, position that I played, and I owe it to myself, I owe it to my forefathers to go back and find out who really designed this position, who played this position, how did they play it. And, and I studied these guys, and I, I looked at their lives, and I looked at the way they played, and if I wanted to be in that category, this is the price that I had to pay in order to do that. I am a steward of this game, a keeper, and a reminder of what this game was created to be. God created this game for us, man, just to have fun. I think when football was originally created, it was created to mold men. It was created to mold great men and teach men how to work together, how to live together. If we don't have each other, we have nothing else. Togetherness, unity. Football is about the highest morals and the highest character. Football will always be about the next guy and not you. Football will always be about not having an ego and checking your pride at the door, but giving everything you've got, every play, every moment. Coach was what I needed in my life at the perfect time. I think God, God's timing for, for our relationship together was perfect. Oh, God, give it to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.